All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country, where we do all sorts of stuff outside. And today is no exception. Uh, I've purchased a little pool for the kids. It's like a big box store special, 300 bucks. If I get two years out of it, I'll be laughing. But uh, I've been scraping up the rest of the topsoil off of this area here, and I can link to some of the other videos. I'm going to use some of this topsoil to create a flat spot where I want to put this pool for the kids. So I'm going to set this camera up. We'll get a couple of dump uh, dump trailer loads. We'll move it over to the location of the pool and uh, we'll flatten it out, get the laser level, that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, I don't know if this is all going to happen today, so this may be filmed over a couple of days. It's going to be fun. Stick around. Let's do it. All right, let's hop in the BX and head over to where we're going to dump it.
Well, there you go, guys. The John Deere 10P to the rescue. It does come in handy, even when you do have a mini excavator. I mean, you can't overload it, but I got two half scoops in there from uh, from the three foot ditching bucket. So, all right, guys. So I uh, I brought up a few more loads of uh, regular topsoil with the the BX and uh, widened out my area here to fit the pool. Leveled it with my rotary laser level. I rolled it with the lawn roller to flatten it out. And uh, now I'm just gonna spread some sand and rake it out uh, for the bottom of this pool. Nothing crazy, I'm sure it's not perfect, but uh, it's just a cheap pool. So let's get this raked out and we'll check back in in a minute. Ever roll one of these around by hand full of water? Not easy. Oh, we'll get this platform level one way or another. So I just finished uh, leveling off that platform with the sand and uh, rolled it out by hand, which you saw. I've got some geotextile material woven that I've uh, covered this area with generously. I'm going to uh, go get the pool and we'll open it up and take a look at the instructions. All right, so I've got the pool out and ripped the box open and you can see all the pieces there. I'll uh, set this camera up and we'll do a time lapse of me trying to figure out how this thing uh, goes together. So far, I haven't found an instruction manual. So what I'm doing right now is just putting a little bit of water into the pool. The instructions say that uh, I should make sure there's no wrinkles in the bottom of the liner where it contacts the ground. So I'll get whatever, an inch or so of water, and then I'll go around the bottom and I'll pull it tight, make sure there's no wrinkles at all. It also says that uh, I might be smart if I think the ground is soft to cut some small pieces of wood, either half inch two by four or some five quarter deck board. And, uh, put some feet underneath the plastic feet. So I think I'm gonna go do that while this is filling up. Perfect little blocks. Well, now I guess I got to uh, plumb this pump. You can see the ports on the side. I've uh, rotated the deck around into the position that will allow the pump to be under the deck so I don't have to look at it or listen to it. And the plan is to remove a section of gate, which you guys can't see yet, but I'll show you eventually. And uh, I'm just gonna build a small section of deck so that the old deck can uh, made up to the new deck. I'm not even going to attach it to this. I'm just going to have it freestanding and uh, I will replace one section of railing with a gate and uh, that should be fine. So I can tell just by looking at the picture that these two are for suction and there's one discharge from the pump. 
The reason they give you two of these is because if one of the kids puts their hands over it, over one of them, you'll still have an adequate supply of water being provided to the suction side of the pump. Uh, similarly, if one of them becomes clogged with uh, a towel or debris, leaves and junk, you'll still have the other one to supply an adequate amount of water to the suction side of the pump. The chances of the discharge jet becoming clogged is very slim. I don't know what the heck these are for. Plugs in case you don't want to use the pump at all, maybe? Wow, look at the fancy clamps they give you. Plastic, you couldn't even give me like T-clamps or gear clamps, really? This is hilarious. Junk. I think this one is to attach a garden hose to if you want to drain the pool at the end of the season, because there is a plug fairly low on the side of this pool. So there you go. Two suction lines coming into a T for the suction side of the pump and a single discharge from the pump. Should be able to mount my pump somewhere over here. Uh, we'll get it out of the weather. Should last a long time, hopefully. I don't know what the quality's like on this. I mean, it was very inexpensive, this pool. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun for the kids for the summer. So I have three wells on the property. One well is uh, an artesian well. I can't, I can't get water from that to here. It would be uphill and I don't, I don't have a pump. Uh, the other two wells I have access to are a, a drilled well that is a constant pressure pump. Uh, the other one is a dug well that has a shallow well jet pump. I'm going to connect a hose to the shallow well jet pump well because that system will allow the pump to cycle on and off and I can choose a flow rate that will keep the electric pump within its designated duty cycle. Uh, you know, just try to stay within its design criteria so I don't burn anything out. Uh, I'm just going to let the well fill this pump up however long it takes. This property is super wet. The well will not go dry. That is not a thing. It doesn't happen here. Um, so that's what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go hook that up. All right guys, so it's the next day. As you can see, the combination of using the, the uh, variable speed pump in the, in the drilled well and the uh, shallow well jet pump in my dug well pretty well uh, all night at a reasonable speed was able to fill this pool up no problem. So let's uh, have a look. I did have a whole bunch of limestone left over on the property from uh, a whole bunch of gardens that were here when I first moved here. I took all the gardens apart and uh, stacked all the limestone up onto three skids and that's where they've been sitting for the last, you know, two or three years anyway. Um, so this is the company that made the pool, if anybody's interested. And if I can salvage a photo of the front of the box that the pool came in, I'll put a picture up right now about it, but uh, yeah, the, the pool cover didn't come with it. I purchased that after the fact. Uh, let's see, I can show you guys the, uh, the pump I have just sitting on a uh, piece of busted patio stone for the time being. I will build a proper shelf for it underneath this uh, small section of deck that I'm gonna build. Uh, I will remove this section of railing and have a step down and then come across to the edge of the pool here and uh, on the bottom of that section of deck I'll build a shelf or something to set that pump on. 
probably going to hook the pump up to uh, some kind of a timer because I, I don't know if it's necessary to have it running all the time. But uh, maybe you guys can comment and let me know what your uh, what your experience has been with this kind of stuff. The girls are pretty excited to swim, as you can tell. I mean, look, Finley's so excited she couldn't even like take her pajamas off and put regular clothes on for the day. It's pretty exciting, eh, buddy? You can say yes. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, that uh that's gonna be it for this video i guess guys if you enjoyed uh please do subscribe and uh click like and leave a comment if you uh if you think it's appropriate and uh you can follow me on instagram at killing it country and uh you can tune in next time for whatever video we do i'm not sure what it's gonna be maybe swimming maybe just hanging out uh how long did it take me to do this the the sand the geotextile Installing the pool and starting to fill it as well as placing the stones was about a half a day So definitely not terrible. The worst part of the job is trying to find a level place to do this Which I was able to do the bulk of that with the excavator anyway, so thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one Don't forget to like share and subscribe this video